In a typical scenario, a sample of the output would be fed back to the input. Let's calculate the gain in this particular scenario. The output voltage is the gain A times the sum which appears just before the amplifier. Let's move the ABV naught over to the left side of the equation. The gain of this circuit without the feedback network is just A. The gain of the circuit with the feedback network is A divided by a term, 1 minus A beta. In most filters, the quantity A beta would be negative, so this term in the denominator would actually be greater than 1, reducing the gain of the circuit. This is unlike the situation in an oscillator, where the feedback is typically positive, and A beta would be exactly equal to 1. This diagram showing input, output, A, and beta is also seen in control theory. Since negative feedback is so common across a wide variety of applications, for example, in control theory, the diagram that you're seeing right now in certain textbooks often has a negative sign built into the diagram itself. This means that if the negative sign is assumed, the term in the denominator would automatically be positive. So in some textbooks, you might see 1 plus A beta in the denominator. This indicates that the feedback is already assumed to be negative. I won't make that assumption here. Let's go over some terms. The open loop gain is the gain of the circuit without the feedback network attached. In this circuit, the open loop gain is just A. The loop gain is the gain around a single loop. In an oscillator, the loop gain has to equal 1 in order to sustain the oscillation. The closed loop gain is the gain in the particular circuit that we just derived. And again, some textbooks have a negative sign built into beta automatically. I should also point out that sometimes closed loop gain and loop gain are used interchangeably, so the meaning might not always be clear. I'll try to make sure we always keep it well defined here. The size and sign of the loop gain determine the functionality of the particular circuit. The Burkhausen criterion helps us determine what type of circuit we're dealing with. If the loop gain is smaller than 1, then we're dealing with an amplifier, an attenuator, or a filter. If the loop gain is exactly 1, then we don't need to have an input, we have an oscillator. If the loop gain is greater than 1, then the amplifier will be saturated and we'll end up with a non-sinusoidal oscillator. This is how the Burkhausen criterion is defined. It actually has a small flaw. Having a loop gain of exactly equal to 1 is not enough to create a sinusoidal oscillator. This is only enough to sustain oscillation which is already occurring, and moreover, we know that we have to have reactive circuit elements to give us frequency selection. It's not enough merely to have a loop gain equal to 1. Let's now look at an example where negative feedback has been used in a circuit. Given this particular circuit, let's find A and beta and redraw the circuit into the particular reference format that we discussed. Let's assume that the op amp has an internal gain of A naught rather than infinity, which would be the case with a perfect op amp. The function of an op amp is to take the difference of the signals appearing at the two input terminals and amplify this difference. For an ideal op amp, we assume that the gain is infinite. Of course, now I'm going to assume that it's a smaller number a naught. Let's label this voltage V minus and let's label this voltage V plus appropriately. I've made all three of these resistors the same. I'm going to assume that the op amp is partially ideal. That is, I'm going to assume that it has an infinite input impedance. In such a situation, these currents then would need to equal one another. We can use Ohm's law to find the current through each resistor. The current through the left resistor equals the current through the right resistor. I have a second equation already written down that relates the output voltage to the difference at the two input terminals. Because the current going into the non-inverting terminal is going to be zero, we can use voltage division to find V plus in terms of VI. I'm going to multiply every term times J omega C. I'm interested in determining the gain of this particular circuit, so I'm going to start with equation two and try to eliminate V plus and V minus. I can use equation 3 to rewrite V plus in terms of VI. In equation 1, the R's cancel. I can now substitute equation 1 in for V minus. By comparison, we can see that what's in the diagram matches the equation that we've just derived. We can now identify that A equals A naught 
and the beta equals negative one-half. This is an example of negative feedback because the quantity A beta is negative. Back in the original circuit, I can also identify by inspection that this is a negative feedback situation because the loop contains an inversion. I would now like to find the gain, and I mean the closed loop gain. Let's add this term, half V naught, to both sides of the equation. Let's multiply every term in this equation by 2 over a naught. If a naught is a large number, we can effectively neglect this term. This filter is called the all-pass filter. It's a type of filter with negative feedback, and we've just derived the gain. Let's write the gain in polar form. Both the numerator and the denominator are complex numbers. In the denominator, for instance, we have 1 plus j omega rc. This represents a point on the complex plane, which is 1 on the real axis and omega rc on the imaginary axis. Finding the magnitude is effectively finding the hypotenuse of that triangle. We've used the Pythagorean theorem in order to do that. Now for the phase angles, we take numerator minus denominator. The magnitude of the gain is just 1. Because the magnitude of the gain is always 1, this is called an all-pass filter, meaning it passes all the frequencies that it's presented with. But the phase is frequency dependent. In fact, the phase changes from 0 to 180 degrees in this particular filter, and right at the frequency omega equals 1 over rc, the phase shift is going to be negative 90 degrees. Because a times beta is less than 1, the Burkhausen criterion tells us that this circuit is an amplifier, attenuator, or filter. In this particular case, it's a filter. It's an interesting filter because if we tune it to a frequency of omega equals 1 over rc, then we can shift the phase using the all-pass filter by exactly 90 degrees every time we have a filter. Imagine that we have four such filters cascaded, and I feed a sinusoid into the input of the first filter. After this signal emerges from the first filter, the phase will have shifted by negative 90 degrees. When the signal emerges from the second filter, it will be completely inverted from the input signal. The third and the fourth filters also shift the phase by another 90 degrees. After the fourth filter, we end up with a signal that's equivalent to the signal that we input to the first filter. If we connect the output back to the input and remove the signal generated from the circuit, we end up with something called a quadrature oscillator. If I label the output voltage VO and note that the input is just equal to the output, I can also label the input as VO. Let's find the frequency of oscillation of the quadrature oscillator. The open loop gain of four all-pass filters cascaded one after the other is simply given by 1 at a phase angle of negative 8 arctangent omega rc. I've merely added the phase angles of each filter. When we close the loop, we know that the output voltage equals the open loop gain times the output voltage. Therefore, for 1 to equal 1, the net phase shift must be 0. Therefore, omega equals 1 over rc is our frequency of oscillation. The quadrature oscillator is a kind of interesting oscillator because it allows us to tap off 90 degree phase shifts from the signal. In this situation, the loop gain equals 1. Since the loop gain in this particular filter equals 1, the Burkhausen criterion tells us that this particular circuit can be a sinusoidal oscillator. And indeed, that's what it is.